Hey everybody. It's Blue Toad. And welcome. Throughout the galaxy a legend is told. On a distant planet. A grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and ascended upon the keep. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold, hold an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. Over time the fortress was rebuilt. And some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim their prize and make what what was done, undone, they must. Enter the gungeon. I absolutely love this game. Also, I love this this theme that plays here at the very beginning. It's just so cool. Ah, oh, it's just so cool. But anyway, now that we've started, let's pick a character because they all have different things. We have the Marine. He has a few different things on him. The Pilot, who I normally use. The Convict. And the Hunter. I think I might try out some of the different ones that they are, that they have. But I'm going to start with the Pilot for now because I think he's the easiest one to learn about. So this is the Breach. The entrance to the Gungeon itself. Which this just exits if we walk out the door, so I don't know why I did that. But if we move around with the WASD, which I'm playing on computer for this, so keyboard and mouse. Some people would probably say that uh, control is better for this though. But we can move around, and if we right click we can dodge roll, which dodge roll means that you basically can run through anything. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that. But you basically can't get hit while in a dodge roll. And it's just good for getting around quickly as well. Uh, we can't do anything else at the moment though. So let's say hello to these guys. I think we have to press E on them. Hold there, pilots. Before you descend, you might wish to learn the ways of the Gungeon from the Great Manual in the Holes of Knowledge. Uh, tutorials are for chumps. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Enjoy your imminent demise. That's funny. But let's go in. Also love the loading screen, it's great. But basically the Gungeon is all about guns and bullets. Welcome to the Keep of the Lead Lord. Now we have an actual gun to shoot. We can shoot it automatically as long as we're holding down the button. But we need to actually click again to reload. Or I think we can also just press R to reload at any time. Which is good. We can see how many bullets we have reloaded over here, and we can see how much ammo we have over here in general, which we have infinite with this gun. It's important to know that, because we're gonna need to keep track of how much we have on other weapons that we get. But anyway, as you can see, these enemies are actually bullets shooting guns. I just think that's great. This whole game is so creative. But we need to clear our room before we can continue, and this guy is tough. Let me just quickly E on that to put up that table. Depending on which side you're facing, It'll put it up in that direction opposite you. Also, any bullets or stuff that are thrown at you can be destroyed by a solid object. 
but otherwise you need to be careful. You can dodge roll through them though. These silver bullets are the the money of the game, which we can see over here on the top of top left of the screen. We can also see here on the top left of the screen how many bullets we have. No, how many hearts we have. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and how many blanks we have, which are the blue bullets there. And how many keys we have. Also, whenever we clear a room, all the money will float towards us, so we know when we've cleared all the enemies in the room. Come on, take you out. You probably need to also keep track of what enemies shoot what, because these ones are fairly basic enemies, but these blue enemies here uh, shoot shotguns, and they're, like, their shots are spread out a lot more. Uh, but anyway, this thing here activates whenever we clear a room with it inside. Not all rooms will have this, but if we go to the map by pressing M, I think, or escape, no, hang on. Hang on, what is it? Okay, the map is tab. We hold it down. We can actually click on one of these positions to teleport to it. So we can get around the gungeon quicker. Also, each time we go into the gungeon, it's going to be different. This is all basically just... random rooms that have been placed with random items and enemies. Oh, well, that ghost is annoying. Let me try and take you out, except he's warping around, so we need to be careful of that. Thank you. Doing good so far. We can also press Q to activate a blank, which will destroy any bullets, enemy bullets thrown at us, around us. So that can be good, but I'm not going to use it very well. Also, over here we can see that there's a passageway on the map, but we can't go this way because there's a wall in the way, and a switch on the other side to remove the wall. So we have to go around to get to there. I love navigating the different levels of this place. It's really cool. I just love this game. I haven't played it enough. It's been years. I haven't even fully completed it. I'm hoping to change that, but it will take a long time to get through all this. But it's going to be fun, so... We're going to have some good runs and some bad runs. Also, that enemy exploded with bullets everywhere, so we need to be careful of that. Oh, you're annoying. Let me get rid of here. Where's the rest of them? There's one. There was an arrow on the screen showing where the remaining enemies were. Not that it really helped that much. But anyway, let's keep looking around. Oh, those are gonna explode if they get hit. So we need to be careful of those. Or just try and use them to our advantage. You can press E on them though to roll them, which will be helpful sometimes, but not all the time. Especially because our bullets kind of have an area of effect. But anyway, we've reached a shop, which we can uh, take a look around at. It's only a small one. I mean, there's some extra room sometimes, like up here. There's this over here, where if we drop a extra weapon in, he'll give us some extra money, I think. But since we don't have that right now, we can't really do anything with that. And you probably want to keep some stuff, depending on what you have. But this is the shopkeeper. Watch out for all the bullets. Also, don't shoot your gun inside the shop, otherwise he will absolutely destroy you. With a gun, <laughs> he pulls out a gun and just takes you out. Uh, but we can buy some keys here, which we already have one, so I might just leave this for now. But those are worth 21 money anyway. And the ammo is worth 26, which ammo we don't even need right now. But I believe the ammo is a refill to any gun that we have equipped that needs ammo. Or possibly that's an item that we use with the spacebar when that's selected to use that. But I don't remember how to do it, so... And we don't even need it right now, so let's just keep moving and see if we can find something else. There's also a few other special things around here somewhere that you can find, but I'm probably not going to be able to find them right now. Take you out. I'm doing good so far. I haven't been hit yet, but that's probably going to change soonish, especially if I'm not being careful. Okay, there's also this water barrel here that we can move around. But, oh, save later. This is this is a piece of heart, so each heart is actually two pieces. But if we are full on hearts, we can allow to save for later. If we press E on it. So I'm going to do that, because that might be helpful 
when we find a position. I believe if we go to the shop, there's actually a, a thing there that we can get that from if we need it. Possibly? I might be wrong about that. But it's only there, like, if you only need to grab it out of the vending machine, which is free, as long as you've collected the heart to, to do that. Also, this is a secret, but we're not going to do this right now. We just need to note that this room exists, basically. I mean, I could activate it now, but I'm... It'd be foolish of me to go into that right now, because I would definitely die. With the skill that I currently have. Also, keep in mind that you can kind of reach around walls sometimes. If you aim correctly. Come on. Take you out. Very nice. Man, if you have if you have this game and you want to play it again, you definitely should. But then let's activate this. This is a chest room, which we can spend a key on this chest to open it. Or we can shoot it, which will probably give us nothing. Nothing good at least. Or if we don't have any keys, we can use our lockpick, which is a pilot special item to open the chest to get whatever's inside it. Which may or may not work. And then you have to just shoot it to open it. So. But I'm going to use this key since I can, and get a new weapon, a Molotov Launcher. Exactly what you think. We only have 88 ammo for this, but that seems very strong. I believe we can use the, like, numbers on the keyboard to switch those around. Although I think there's probably another way to do that. Uh, but it looks like we're getting most of this place cleared out already. So let's check out up here. Try and find some more treasure chests, because the real thing what we want to find are uh, accessory type items that basically change the way that the game works for us. Change our like skills and special powers, I guess. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Take you out. Also, I think if we take too long, something chases us, possibly. Which we really don't want. But I might be wrong about that. I can't remember. Ah, uh, we don't have a key for this. I'm gonna try and lockpick. Nope, didn't work. Gonna have to shoot it. Which will take a little bit. That's a shame, we get a paper bag. It's just junk. Next time use a key. Oh, your magic! I like these enemies though, they're really cool. They like, have different shapes for their magic to shoot at you. And I just think that's such a cool idea, it's very um... It's like a lot like the Mori enemy. Oh, books also, the books kind of do a similar thing, but they do it in letters I think. Also, we've cleared out this room because the bullets came towards me. So let's go up this way. I think we can pour these out if we wanted to. Not that we really should. Ah, uh, but this is interesting. Have to lockpick this door. Which we have to cool down on our thing here, so we can't even do that. But then we also have a chest behind it and a shield. The shield is basically a extra heart kind of thing. But it also activates a blank whenever it's destroyed as well. So that could be good, but we need a key for it, which I might have to spend some money to get a key. Well, this is not a great position. Please, 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 please. Also, uh, dodge rolling into an enemy actually does a little bit of damage. So that could be something you want to do if you're in a situation where you need to. Um, also... Nothing, okay. Uh, let me s teleport around a bit. Uh, I guess I'll go over here. Sometimes there can be fake walls, which you can reveal with a different gun than your regular gun. Uh, but I probably don't want to do that with the gun that I have. Oh boy, let me... I don't think anything can be in this room, maybe? Nope, okay. Uh, let's go get some extra things, because that's a boss door leading to the boss. There's the vending machine that has some extra hearts for us if we need them. Uh, but I think we should go check out somewhere and hope that we get something good. We can also use our lockpick if we need it. I don't remember what the colors of chests do. I'm just going to pull those out. We need to be careful of going into fire, though. Sometimes extra things can burn because of fire. Okay. Uh, green chest. Nice. Got a light, a light fan fan fantastic. Oh, that seems strong, but it only has one bullet uh, at a time. 
with H2 ammo. Now let's grab the shields. There's that there now. And let's see if we can open up the other chest. I don't think we can get any more keys now, so we're going to have to just lockpick it now that our lockpick has recharged. Oh, we can use the scroll wheel to change weapons. Okay, that, that makes sense to me now. I was trying to think what button would I press to change that around, but no, I can just do that. Okay, lockpick successful, and we get a thing. Cartographer's ring. Some floors are familiar. Interesting. I don't know, know what that does exactly. Uh, we can also check what stuff we picked up here to see what effects are in place. But that's basically an accessory. I can't remember what the actual term for that is. Which we'll just keep until we die. Ah, uh, okay. Can we check the vending machine? No. The shop. There's nothing really that I want here. Uh, but sometimes if you use a blank in a room with a chest, you'll have a secret path that opens up from it. But I don't think that's the case in this place, since we've... We're doing alright. It doesn't look like that's balls cracking. Just needed to check. But okay, let's go fight the boss and hopefully live. We're gonna use our special weapons for this. Oh, we're definitely gonna use our special weapons for this. Each time for each floor has a different boss, but there's a few bosses that you can you can have on each floor. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, buff bird. The Gatling Gull. We can also skip that intro if we wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. There's also the chandeliers on the ceiling that we can activate on the switches. Ow, I got hit. That's the first hit. That's not good. Which will drop the chandeliers and they'll do damage to anything around it, I think. But still. Need to be careful of everything. Just dodge. The bosses are kind of crazy in this game. Oh boy. Speaking of which, gonna be careful dodge rolling. Gonna keep setting him on fire to try and take him out that way. Just need to stay alive. I don't want to lose any hearts right now. I haven't played the game in a while, but I'd like to live somewhat longer than I would have expected. Okay, he's moving over there. Let's hit him with that. Shooting more missiles at us. This game is very impressive as a game. Oh boy. Please shoot. Thank you. I'm tempted to bring out my other gun to try and finish him off. But he's so close anyway, so I might as well. You want to save as much bullets as possible, basically, though. As much as the ammo as you can. But anyway, after the boss is completed, we get some extra stuff. So let's save this for later. Let's grab that. I uh, grab that. And a special item that he's dropped, apparently. Heart of Ice. That's cold. Nope, he's gone now. Uh, but he also dropped some money that we can spend in the overworld whenever we die, because we will die. Hedge money credit. I think that's what they said. Also, the vending machine is here as well if we needed that. Okay, this wall is crack cracking. Let's break that open, I think. Or do I need a blank for that? I might need a blank for that. Because I think you can reveal it with a gun. But I think you can only break it with a blank. Which is a shame, because now I can't do that, so... But I guess this is four complete, so let's go down. And it's just gonna get harder as, the, as we go deeper into the gungeon. And it takes a long time to get through a run. Gungeon proper. Chamber 2. Also, I think I've made a mistake. No, I haven't. If I go down here... There's this room here, which I think I should have done something else, possibly. Or maybe this is just not available yet. But basically, we want to keep in mind that you can go down there. And sometimes we might actually be able to do something down there. Okay, let's see what we can do. No enemies in here. There's a green light here, which I'm not sure what that means exactly. I think that means it's a special room. Ah, uh, but let's activate this statue, I guess. A shrine of glass. Let's pray at the altar. And now we have some gl glass... Gion. Gunstone. I don't know. Fleeting defense. Basically, these three uh, glass bullets that we got from this will spin around us or rotate around us. And any bullets from the enemies that they hit will be destroyed. But if we get hit at all, 
They will break. They're made of glass, after all, so they won't last forever. Oh boy. But it'd be just good to live longer. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. I'm gonna definitely get hit. There we go. It kind of acts like a, a blank whenever they get destroyed, but they're gone now, so that's a shame. It's very good if you can get lots of them, but it's very doubtful because you're probably gonna get hit by something. Especially if you're me. Oh, this guy's annoying. Like, very annoying. Let me reload. I'll actually switch guns for a second. Nice. Drop some key and some bullets. Um... I think... Oh, which one do I want to refill? Might be this one. I've been wasting a bit of that ammo. Okay, nice. Also, the tables can get destroyed, so you need to be careful. Come on. Shoot him. Oh, oh, oh. You're annoying, aren't you? It's fine, I got rid of you. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And you leave fire behind when you die, that's interesting. Don't touch that. Oh boy. Ow! Oh, you guys are the worst because you throw yourselves as your attack. And that cube's gonna create a large thing of fire. Death, oh my goodness. Taking some hits, and that's not good. I'm missing a heart right now. If we can find a shop, we might actually be able to get something. Uh, also, let me just quickly check the walls. Okay, that one's breaking, so let's check that. Secret room and a pit. We need to be careful of that. Uh, I think I can just dodge roll. Pick these up. Nice. Getting extra blank is good. Uh, let's open this up. Get a... Shadow clone. <laughs> no jut jutsu. Oh, that's funny. I think that means that if we... I can't remember what that means, actually. How do I check that? Oh, that's actually a ability thing. How do I activate a How do I switch between abilities? Shift, right. So if we press shift, we can switch between the lock pick and the shadow clone, which if we activate the shadow clone, I believe will give us a, a clone that will basically be a decoy. That'll be walking in opposite of us or something like that. I don't know. But that might be useful to use at some point, just not right now. I don't know how to use it effectively. Uh, it might be good to just have that on hand so we can space bar if we need that. We won't need the lockpick in a fight, so... Oh, interesting, that guy's annoying. Try and blow you up. Because all those things that he shot out are gonna go towards me. And we can't shoot him when he's... ...closed. So we have to be very careful. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Let's keep exploring. Interesting. You're just gonna get taken out by the thing there, I guess. I love it when that happens. It's so simple. Ah, let's keep going this way. Also, I think some of the main rooms can also have secret walls as well, but it is less likely how I got hit. You guys are annoying. Let me get out a better gun than this. Because I can just take you out in one shot with this weapon. Oh. Ah, bats. Those things just explode, basically. They use themselves as their weapons, so... Just be careful. Nothing in here? Wow. Free room. Oh, there's the boss. Let me check the wall. Other wall. Nothing. Uh, okay, let me reload that. Just make sure that's set for when we need it. And let's go way back this way. There's a room over there. I think that's where we went to from the elevator. No, the... What's it called? The the room that we dropped in. I guess it was an elevator that we dropped through. It kind of went away, though, when we fell through. Please. I wish my aim was better. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is definitely the character that I like using the most, because he's... He's just good. Oh, and there's a special thing here. 
prime primer. I think I need to get that, possibly. But I don't know what I actually need to do with it right now. <laughs> Loot bag 9999. How, how even, I don't even, wallet well, needs to reload, <laughs> that's funny. Um, there's a guy here that I could sell weapons to if I needed to, but I can't remember what I need this Prime Primer for. I think I need to get it later on, because I don't think you can just get it and keep it forever. But I don't know, so, let me get some extra health. Oh, I only have one extra health, okay. Interesting, very interesting. I don't know. Okay, no, no extra secret walls. There can be secret walls in the the shop, but you can't check, basically. Also, I think this is what I need the thing for, possibly. Or maybe not, actually. I don't know actually what you need to put at the altar, but I don't think it's what was over there. And I think to make this important, I actually need whatever's up on the top floor anyway. Since we've already gone down a floor, a level. I don't know. I really don't remember any of the important stuff that I need to remember. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let me just set this up. Nice. Oh, you're burning yourself. What are you doing? You're over there. Good thing you can't shoot through the wall, otherwise that'd be way too overpowered. Oh, hello. You have a shotgun. Oh, and you're gonna blow me up. That enemy is annoying. We need to actually shoot it before it explodes us. Which can be difficult. Nice. Okay. Free room, I think. Nope, not free room. Not free room. Oh, that bounced off. That's not good. I really would have liked that to do damage. Okay, we need to focus on dodging. Ow, that's not good. No, 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 no. I'm gonna move over here, since I should be safe over here. I think I got that key because I left the room. Although, sometimes when a, a weapon or item is left unattended on the ground, or even a heart, I think it will be stolen. So you need to actually not leave things unattended. Uh, let me check the wall. Better than that. Nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, let's lockpick. Did it, and we get a bullet shell as a gun. But also, this 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 shell shoots guns that shoot bullets. It makes sense. Trust me. Oh, we also have this room here that we should probably unlock with the special key that we got. Hello. Oh, finally. I knew it would, uh, it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for a way too long. You should come by. We're on top, on the top level of the breach. You can't miss us. We're, I'm heading back to the breach. Thank you for rescuing Mistress, Cadence, and this one. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, Ox. Ah, oh, you're always so slow. Thank you again. I think that's everything on this floor now then. Just gonna double check the walls, or don't, although I don't know where to check the walls, so I don't, I don't know, so. Ah, uh, let's head to the boss then. Although I guess I could actually go buy an extra heart before going in. Do I want to spend it though? I can't really, I, there's nothing else to really spend it on, so I might as well. Let's go. I might also get the Shadow Clone ready. I'm not sure how many times we can use it, but I'm gonna use it, so... Yeah, definitely should use it. A Cursed Gun Witch! The Gore Gun! Love. I love all the puns. Also, I just saw... Oh, the poison on the ground. Don't touch the poison on the ground. <laughs> just saw my Shadow Clone go off into the distance. I'm sure that's helpful in some way. Oh, those are closing up behind me. I need to also keep shooting, probably. Gotta dodge the roll that. I don't know what that did, but I'm hoping that dodge rolling was the correct solution. Okay, more poison on the ground. Don't touch. Don't touch poison. Let's 
gonna need to keep doing damage. Oh boy, don't die, don't die, no, no, no. I think effect that I have on something is actually dropping or shooting at those bullets whenever I get hit. Please. I'm just gonna keep spamming. Nope, that's not good. Good thing I healed. I guess. Oh boy. Can't see when you're that far away. Dodge roll. Okay. I think we're getting, we're getting close. According to the health bar at least. There we go. Turn to stone. We are good here. Let's grab a heart. Let's grab a shield. And let's grab whatever this is. Decoy. Get him. Oh, it's another special weapon item thing. So that's going to replace our shadow clone, I guess. We th the Shadow Clone didn't really do much as far as I can tell, so I think I'm okay with this. Just gonna shoot this wall here. Nothing. I don't think there can be anything that important in any of these directions that I'm shooting in right now. It's not down, so that's that's the one I would have most likely seen. What are you? Hey, you're looking pretty beat up. Want to take a break and come back later? So we can save if we want to before continuing, but I'm not taking this option. Let's-a go.